Hi, this is Luke Zip from Crocker Farm Auction, and I'm here with the best piece of stoneware that we've ever handled. Uh, check it out. It's a seven-gallon, large-sized stoneware water cooler with Federal Eagle incised decoration and brushed floral decoration as well as other accents. Um, and it really is just an incredible piece. Uh, st uh, stoneware water coolers were often uh, used by potters to really showcase their ability. They were put, uh, as opposed to a lot of storage jugs, jars that were just never really saw the light of day, water coolers were in a public prominent place. This seven gallon cooler was probably in a public house, a uh, you know, meeting house, tavern, hotel, in maybe in the uh, Baltimore area. Uh, it was made by Henry Remy Sr. of Manhattan probably right after he came down to Baltimore. He was in the town from 1812 to 1829. He was one of the finest potters in the city of Manhattan, brought his talents to Baltimore, and really jump-started the industry in that town. You can see there's just a really boldly incised Federal Eagle, probably the best that um, was ever executed on a uh, surviving piece of American stoneware. Just look at the scale of it massive head with size feather detail and nice prominent beak. These feathers are just really jump off the canvas of the clay on both the wings. It's facing the arrows. You also have the olive branch on the other side. And nice uh, tail feathers, pr prominent tail feathers as well. Probably um, the decorator copied uh, a motif on coins from the period that were minted from the late 18th century up until 1807 uh, called the Heraldic Eagle. But uh, on that design, the eagle's head is facing the arrows as it is on this water cooler. It's surrounded by stars, which these dots are meant to signify. And there's a link of clouds above the eagle's head. And the Federal Shield clouds and circle stars above the eagle's head, so it's kind of a take off of that. But even though this piece is not signed, we can say that Henry Remy Sr. made it because of these uh, bold brush tulips. Uh, many of his best examples from Baltimore, some bearing the merchant mark H. Myers, where Remy worked, have both incised decoration and brush tulips which are really seen as a signature of Remy's work. There's a nice stepped spigot hole at the base, also with bold cobalt decoration. And what's really cool is this large water cooler has nice early loop handles, which you see on a lot of Manhattan work from uh, Remy's time in that city. But to support such a massive water cooler, they have a third support right in the center. And it's really uh, remarkable that these handles survived intact. Sometimes in our business, we uh, just get totally surprised when we see a piece that we didn't know existed before, nobody knew existed before, um, just hiding in a home. This piece was purchased originally at a local estate auction in Pennsylvania in the early 1970s and remained hidden up until that time and remained hidden since then. We're thrilled to be the first ones to ever offer it for public auction. Um, it's just a great example of the best that Baltimore stoneware potters had to offer, the perfect Baltimore clay, that rich gray color um, with deep cobalt oxide reacting with that clay, but with Manhattan skilled uh, talent both in potting and in decorating. It just really has it all, and we're thrilled to offer it in our October 17th stoneware and redware auction.